we had sex and she never left. Uh, you know what? I don't actually want to entertain any conversation with you. Because yeah, I, I feel too degraded if I become obsessed and... Trying to check them. And they're just like, oh no, it's not the full truth. Sometimes your mind is actually telling you and you're not listening to your intuition and your gut. Which things are a little bit di more difficult or a bit more frustrating oh, yeah. because... you got all your neck paint as well, so that would help. Naked photos, playing mm. with some toys, whatever. Because of something, if they're attractive. An amount of money. Welcome back to the show. This is episode number 13. I mean, I'm not even going to have... I'm going to lose a viewer okay. now because you're here. You've gained at least one. I've just... No, I've just lost one. I'll watch it. Oh. <laughs> I'll watch I, it twice. I oddly watch my own episodes so many times. I hear loads of people like, I can't watch myself, I can't watch myself. But I'm like, That's bollocks. I made that. That's bollocks. We definitely do. I made that. Yeah. Do you feel like detached from the person that's on the screen? When you look at the person that's on the screen, do you kind of not recognise them? No. So what I do is sometimes if I've had a like if I've had a good eating week and if I spend too much time sitting like this, I'll go, Oh, my belly look really Oh, what a slow sort of I just notice these things and all I don't get upset about it, I just go, right. Next. You're gonna look at this bit and go, Oh, I shouldn't have done that with my uh, right like... mess. <laughs> I'm joking. But I'm I'm quite happy to look silly. Just look silly. I've got like your pajamas yeah. on. My, yeah, because these were the clothes that were available to me. That's fine. The only thing I say when I pay a consideration to what I'm wearing doing yeah. this is it has to be a colour that separates us from the background. Oh, well, I'm blending with the table. Yeah, I mean... I mean, I've got a black T-shirt on, but... It's fine. You can just be talking head. Yeah. But that's the only reason why I wear, like... I found that white and red is good for this setup. What? It's fine. Trust me, don't worry about it. Well, I'm not worried. I'm just wondering if it could be improved upon as in, like, more visually... Anywho. Anyway. The nature of the broken up clothing mm. is a quite camouflagey. So they were saying how to hide a lav mic on a collar, if you had it on the collar, would be to wear a broken up Well, that's why I wore it. Hat. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Oh, I knew you were thinking <laughs> I knew, about I knew that was, yeah. thinking so of the show. See the mic. Conveniently, obviously, you've got all your neck paint as well, so that would help hide it. Yeah. No, I can't see it. I'm looking out of it. I can never see mine. Mm. And that's what I'm saying. I, you know, you you made comments about like when you when you watch yourself back and stuff like that, and you might have a little. It was kind of like I I studied photography at uni, so um, I got asked to model quite a bit. I did a bit of photography at college and didn't. <laughs> yeah, no, it didn't go any further. I did like a year. <laughs> didn't get asked to model anywhere. <laughs> no, it was just it, it just made sense, and I think because I could understand about a little bit about lighting and things like that, I just knew which way to turn, mm. where to look. That so, so it kind of like came naturally, but it wasn't so much important. To with, without sounding look. without sounding cynical on a sli slightly separate topic, it's mm. another one of those life is easy for women. <laughs> Yeah, I, just be what yeah, always. Yeah. These things that there are certain 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 things. skills and jobs in life that yeah. just you get it because you're a woman who isn't ugly. Yeah, and that's or isn't fat. And but then there are you know there are certain certain things like skills where being a male by having oh, sure. that skill you instantly become more appealing or people are more drawn towards you or want to because you have yes. that skill rather so than just all like I say the is, fact that you're male or you look a certain way it's if you if you're able to do something that people respect or aspire to then or if they want us something you've made then you exactly that but there's the things way. with men it's usually uh I've I've built this skill, or I can fix this thing for you skill, or I can make this thing for you skill. I don't know, tattoo artists. I can tattoo this for you skill. Yeah, but that that applies to men and women. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. for sure. But I'm not yeah. saying that's a that's not one of the ones oh, I was really on about. I'm saying there are yeah. certain. So like yeah. for women, it's easy to easier. I just think a lot of guys like, and this is probably too blanket a comment to say a lot of guys, but um, I just think often I hear um guys say, oh, this is. <laughs> this is easier because you're female and you got that because you're female and I can agree but it's not always the case and I kind of feel like when when that's being said they're instantly kind of admitting defeat I'm a dude it's never gonna mm. work for me so I shouldn't even bother because I'm no I'm I understand what you're saying I don't have tits like it's I understand bit, what you're saying yeah, but I, I, I go with it like I was trying to say my life is always quite balanced so it's, it's more balanced because yeah Things are easier for women that are attractive than for a male of a similar level of attractive. But then sometimes things are a little bit more difficult or a bit more frustrating oh, yeah. because... 
Yeah, you no, I understand might not that as well. Necessarily get taken seriously without um, being too crude. No, it's fine. Take OnlyFans. Yeah. As a prime example. Yeah. Every single woman in the world who wants to try and go on OnlyFans can probably go on there and make an amount of money. Yeah. Without really doing too much different to what she's doing, other than you know she's going right, I'm just naked photos, playing mm. with some toys, whatever. I don't know how far it goes, but no. I mean, it goes. Yeah. I've never. I've not signed up. <laughs> oh, I've, it goes. I've not signed up to the account as of yet because I, as of yet. I don't ever pay for anything sexual. It's not my nature. Plus, I'm in a yet. relationship. No, I just don't. It's not. I feel. I feel too respectful. Right? Yeah. I feel too degraded if I pay for like. Yeah. Whenever I've been with someone, I have to know that they want me. I can't. I couldn't pay for it. Right, well, whenever you've been... With whenever I've been with a woman, yeah, I have to know that they want to be there. Yeah. So I could not pay for it. Oh, I see what you're saying. I've had two strip, two lap dancers in my but life. They, no, you mean that they want to be there for you, not for money. said money. Or well, yeah, that's what I mean. They want to be there. Or, yeah, I mean... Like, they want me. Essentially, it's a job. It is. And it's helped a lot of people But I can't out. be that customer. That's fine. And I'm not saying anything yeah. wrong with it. I totally... I personally am not... I'm not. No, no. Um, so, I mean, I've worked in a strip club as a bartender in security when I was younger, and I've spent a lot yeah. of time talking to the women that do it. And I totally yeah. understand that it's a job. A lot of them are quite intelligent. They've got other businesses. It's just a way to make easy money. They're capitalizing and on quite what often they've they got. They enjoy it as yeah. well. It creates some of sort of like dopamine validation yeah, sometimes. It it's a, a social, you yeah. kind of feel like, to a degree, sometimes it's a bit of counseling as well. Sometimes, like, guys will, like, yeah, sometimes a guy will, like, pay a woman just to have a conversation because maybe they don't feel, like, confident enough to approach a woman and, and, and have For sure. kind of conversations. I so, don't necessarily know. I mean, that depends on the woman on how much she then relays her own problems doing that conversation that the man is paying for. Maybe it, he's getting it, the counseling more than she is at that point. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's He's, he's getting it. He's oh, is he? not only getting counseling, but he's just having he's her. just having conversation with a pretty woman that he doesn't necessarily feel confident enough to go and get for himself. Yeah, I know. I did see a couple the, of the money thing. Yeah. It's like uh, it's kind of like a double. It shit, was when they, when I was it working in its... these places, there were a number of guys that were regulars, and they'd come in and they'd be then buying this girl a printer for uni or buying yeah, yeah, something. Yeah, helping you know, her out with their kids. It got a little bit college. sad. Yeah. Something like because that. they would never and get what they really it's an wanted. Exchange. It's, a, it's, a, it's an exchange to a degree, if you want to call it energetic or monetary. There's an exchange there. The whole only fans thing, I do have concerns about because, you know... I have loads of concerns. Uh, level yeah, yeah, but what I was trying to get where, at before we move yeah. on, because I would need to stay on topic sometimes. I don't know what the topic is. Topic so my, my point, yeah, no, my point was, my point was when, when a, if, a, if a girl signs up to OnlyFans, she can go on and make an amount of money, whether it's a £1,000 in a year yeah, yeah. or whether it's a £1,000 uh -huh. a day. She can make some money. Yeah. If a man generally were to sign up to OnlyFans, he would not have anywhere near the, the ease of success. Either he'd have to do gay stuff when he wasn't. Yeah. I think that's pretty much it. Or he'd have to be famous already. Or there's not really the women. It's at least in this country. I know it's a bit different in American places like that. So obviously, yeah, but there are one. guys that just go out and get it, and they just drop that kind of inhibition, and or that's not the right word, but they kind of just they, they, they don't have that pride necessarily, but they have pr pride. It's kind of like a weird thing. It's kind of like just saying fuck it and just like letting go, and I'm going to do this because this is what I like. I'm going to do for myself without mm. caring about anyone else's judgment, so and potentially through doing it and doing it well they'll make money oh yeah but off the back of that what i'm saying yeah. is a woman can go on and explore yeah, her like show a, nip and a woman can go on and explore <laughs> her own self the way she wants and have fun doing it yeah and you just said a man has to forego his no, pride has to, no has forego to, yeah, let go of their some... pride and do things that they wouldn't necessarily want to do no i'm not saying that they wouldn't want to do it's just like it's by just like letting go and having like a a Finding yourself or your confidence and and pushing yourself within your own comfort mm. and and seeing how it goes and yeah it might be more difficult but I don't know I feel like a lot of people like block themselves with these beliefs and it's not necessarily true you have to be a, if you want to you have to be prepared to find out and just mm. but the other thing is like, so a woman could go on an OnlyFans creator site and she could just show a couple of boob photos yeah 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 she could just do a bit of maybe playing from, with a toy yeah or Debbie like from down the road will get a fiver exactly yeah so she's <laughs> if a man goes on it if he just goes and does a topless photo which is the comparable similarity to a boob photo yeah what's he going to get really I don't know I think there's an audience for everything 
There is, but and it's going to be harder to find. I'm surprised. I know, I know some guys that, and um, some older gentlemen that do actually take photos of themselves in in women's underwear because that's actually something that they enjoy and okay. they like the conversations. That's it's fine. Not that's, that's something they enjoy, and that's a niche. That's a niche that they and enjoy they, doing and it, and there'll be people out there look for it. But if they you don't enjoy doing that. It just might not be so much in the public eye yeah. as like females. I feel like female um, stuff kind of gets shared around a lot more. I feel like even females are attracted to the female form. It's yeah. just the female form generally yeah. naked is is prettier than it's... the male form naked, other than the inside of a vagina. <laughs> I've not, not seen inside of one before. I mean, when you utilizing their it's attributes, really they're fine. You know, they're fine to interact with, but you don't really want to look at them for too long. No. I'm not, yeah. That's my I view, anyway. Personally, looked my at, view, and yeah. also, but the male body, most of the time, it's a lot. So, a female body to be attractive aesthetically, yeah, yeah, does not have to be nearly as high quality as a male body would have to be to be attractive aesthetically. I find. It's funny, isn't it? Because sometimes you could be with someone that you might not have previously thought aesthetically pleasing but when you fall in love with them you actually start to find it really attractive and that's a different like, conversation yeah, entirely else. Yeah, where I feel so like many layers I feel like those. your truest strongest love comes from an initial physical attraction like people grow attracted to someone through a mental interaction for sure yeah, yeah, I yeah. think the real passionate love stories are I wanted to rip your clothes off as soon as I saw you and then you were an amazing person as well like if you got if, when you were back in the clubbing days, not specifically you because you were weird, but most people. I was weird. Most even now. I was behind the bar. You exactly. Wasn't it? No. But most people, they don't go up and talk to an ugly person on the off chance that they're funny. They will. I like the look at you. What's your name? How are you? Blah blah blah. And then say, oh, and you're a nice person. Oh, and you're funny. Oh, and you're caring. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You say that, but for me, like personally, like I found like sometimes the most attractive guys are just dicks. Like, you go to have that conversation are. with, like, but that's why you, but I don't, not all. but the thing is, like, quite often it's how someone carries themselves, and if they're attractive, I'll, yeah. I sometimes have got a bit of a block, and I'll think, uh, you know what, I don't actually want to entertain any conversation with you because you're actually, that's almost going the opposite way, carrying they yourself. Could it's be like a an nice energetic person. thing rather than like their image. Like, mm. it's if, if someone is carrying themselves in such a way that makes you think, okay. Look they're coming across as arrogant, so they've got this bit of a front. They're probably not, and that would break down later on. But I'm well, not going to go and entertain this. Who knows persona. what they are? What I'm saying is, yeah. it doesn't matter what the physical bit is that you're attracted to. Whether it doesn't have to be like a, a mm. you know Brad Pitt. Not saying he's attractive, but that's what it everyone is. else says. What it is? All right, fine. But not everyone says he is. But my point is, that's the. Not if you, is he? No. <laughs> The point is, if, I'm not saying, t- when I say you have to have a physical attraction, it doesn't have to be, that's like a God-shaped, chiseled character. Oh, you just mean like I'm saying like, you, you are physically attracted, like you are visually. physically attracted to yeah, that person. Okay, yeah, you're you're fi- well, no, visually, yeah, yeah. They, yeah, but, yeah, but because but your visuals will be different from his the visuals. the physical is like feeling as well as seeing. Yeah, everyone's visuals bit. will be yeah, different. Yeah. What you find physically, aesthetically pleasing is different from what they find aesthetically yeah, pleasing. yeah. So you're ugly is not that person's ugly. You're good looking is not that person's good looking. Mm. Everyone's different. Mm-hmm. In fact, I like to say there is no good looking or bad looking. It's just a matter of opinion. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I mean, a lot of in the Venn diagram of good looking, a lot of some people will overlap into more people's good looking and bad looking. Yeah. But some people will be in the outskirts, but then it'd be something like that that finds them the best looking thing in the world. Anyway, yeah. so once you found someone that you feel is aesthetically pleasing, they turn you on by the sight of them, mm. whatever that reason is. Then you go and talk to them, and then they're not a dickhead. Then you move on into a relationship. Mm. That's why I like to operate, and I find that people that, oh, we were friends at first, yeah. and then I grew to love him, they end up cheating on each other. Do you think? Sometimes. More often than the ones that <laughs> fell in love at 18 because they couldn't bear to be without the sight of each other, and then they also found out that they liked their personalities. Now, I am yeah. agreeing with you. Yeah. A lot of good-looking people are dickheads. I'm but not, that's what that's not what I said. That's what you said. Oh, if he's good looking, he's done, he's probably <laughs> sometimes dickhead. I got this attitude or this yeah. persona. Loads of women are like that as well. Looking, but then you get some beautiful people that are very humble and and they're attractive because of that, not because just of the image. Like, I mean, how did you meet your partner? How was that interaction? <laughs> <laughs> Do I want to know? Um. So she worked in a place in town that I went to, and every time I would look at her with my friend i'd say i'm gonna marry she, that one <laughs> she's got cracking tits 
Oh, and look, she's got a cracking ass as well. I could marry so those. I, I, yeah. and, then I and could she's marry quite pretty. Them. And she looks like she works hard. She's always running around. Yeah. And that went on for about a year. And oh. then and then I saw who I knew to be her boyfriend at that time, just because I was always out. Don't like him. No, no, it's not. But I mean, yeah, I don't like him. Well, I no, don't, I don't no, like him. I didn't really, I didn't <laughs> really care. I didn't really care about him, to be honest. No, because I knew that she had a relationship, and, and I wasn't respectfully. wasn't bother entertaining. Also, I was one of those people that was like, I don't like to interrupt people with me. So mm. if they don't like me, that's ruined their night. So I just stand Aww. here and look. No, I, was, I never approached people. I just couldn't do it. Um, but then I saw him out one night chatting to a woman. Yeah. And I was like, oh, maybe. And I looked and I was like, oh, might be. I, I don't know if I can remember the single, but anyway. Next time I saw her not at work, I sent her an Instagram message and she replied. Aww. Yeah, Which was a long time after the first time I sent her an Instagram message when I was very drunk, which oh. she didn't reply to. Cracking tits, love. <laughs> it was like, yo, woman. <laughs> <laughs> yo, woman. She remind, hey, woman. Hey, rem- woman. Re- reminds me of that often. Woman. Come here. Um, but yeah, and then, and then she replied to that secondary interaction. Yeah. And then... And then we just started having sex quite a lot, around. and then she never left. I found you very attractive. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Something along those lines. <laughs> That's cool. And but so that was that. So you didn't know, like go up to an approacher or do any of the thing. You just talked about her and waited for the moment. Well, I wasn't really waiting because so, I never really thought anything so, would come of it. So I wasn't really waiting for it to happen. Yeah. My view is, whilst I'm waiting for something else to happen, I'll keep having sex with people for for practice. Warm up. Yeah, basically, I like people go. Oh, I like you physically, but I'm just, I'm still. Well, all right, we'll just have sex now and then. Yeah. Go and do something else tomorrow. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah. I'm not going to be the guy you end up with, but I can be good luck, Chuck. I've not heard that term before. That's a film. Oh, okay. Good luck, Chuck is about a guy that got cast a curse on him, and every time he had sex with a woman after him, they went and married. They found their person they even marry. I felt like that was me for a while. But not like just the people I got laid with. I mean, the people I was in relationships with. It's just like, oh, I'm the, I'm the practice round. <laughs> oh, you get all the shit out of the way with me, and then you, you'll find the one. I'm, I'm doing a service, you know? I mean, or I felt I was. I mean, I'm not that anymore, I don't think. I, I think I've cracked it. You seem to have been with this guy for a while. Regardless, Ray. April, looking. April last year, so like oh, a wild. year and eight months or something. What I was trying to say is off the back of you look at someone physically, and then you find out if you like them or not. I was quite similar with sex. I was like, I'll have sex with you. And then if I like you, I might have sex with you again. But if I don't like you, then that was fun. We practiced on each other and now we're better for the next person. Uh-huh. That's an interesting way of... Yeah, because people get to know each other. It, thinking about it. When I, I was mean, young, I, I don't think I've ever thought of it like that. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, at least I've got one in... Like, I'm, I'm one one sex better now. I mean, now that I've done that one. Hey, when I finally got, so, to, re- when I finally got to relationships, I never had any complaints. So I realised it was all the practice and hard work I'd put in. Yep, that's uh, yeah, that's exactly my what point. I when I was a kid or when I was younger, was people spent a lot of time getting to know each other, weeks yeah. and weeks and weeks, and then they'd finally have sex and they go, "Oh, that was a bit rubbish," and now they didn't really feel that attracted to a person. But if you're physically attracted and you have great sex, and then the personality is great, it's kind of like a bit of a lusty vibe with that, though, and that's like a dangerous territory because if you're just sleeping with someone from the off your brain chemicals are going to say, this is the one, I love them, blah, blah, blah. Mine. But to a degree, no, the brain, the chemicals in the brain, when you have sex with somebody that you're attracted to, it actually convinces you that you like them more it's than the dopamine. you do. Uh, the dopamine. Mm. And it becomes addictive and you can kind of keep people on that leash for a bit. And yeah, but I don't think like, it's, an, gro- I, I think I it's think a bit gross. Like everything, like you're not using your phone, like people that drink too much or whatever, I think you have to find the balance. Like so I would say, yeah. have a phone. But you have to have the willpower not to be on it all the time. Like I have phones and a lot of the time they're in my pocket. Right? But I use them for what I need to use them for. Yeah. Same with drugs or drinking, not drugs because they're bad. But drinking, like people go too crazy. If you just drink once in a while, that's not so bad. I mean, now the studies show that all alcohol is toxic and none of it's good for you. But that's a different story. And with the sex thing, yeah, I would have casual encounters. And if I liked their personality, we would hang out more. And same the other way, if they like my personality, obviously we would hang out more. And then yeah. sometimes all of my relationships in my life have developed from casual encounters. Right. And they've always been... But How did they work out for you? They were fine until I didn't want them anymore. This one's been five years now. Yeah. Still good. Still good. Still yeah. fine. Still lovely. Good. Um, the point was, you just got to have the wherewithal to not become obsessed and 
whatever and yeah, addicted. Yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of easier really said than done if you don't have the awareness of that. You know, it's like you meet people that don't know that their brain is trying to trick them, yeah. and they're just like, oh no, it's the best thing ever. We're gonna get married and have babies like within like a week, and it's but just it might like. Be. It might be. It absolutely might be, and it and it has been for many people. But sometimes it's not the full truth. Sometimes your mind is actually telling you, and you're not listening to your intuition and your gut, which is something separate. No, I mean, I do counsel take a long time. You know, three, four. Don't say you're going to have babies and get married in a year. I know people that have like been pregnant from the first encounter and actually oh, yeah. stayed together. I know it. I've, I'm years. aware of it. I'm suggesting that people wait at least a yeah. year. Before they make that decision, <laughs> right? You can you can think you can think. Yeah, I could marry this person. Yeah, yeah I could have but kids. If it with... happens, you know, you have to make a decision there and there. It takes a year to to realize annoying it. things yeah. about a person, living oh, with a person. Than, more than that, sometimes you know, you have to live with a person. Yeah, it, yeah, and then sometimes you'll be with someone for a while, and it'll be like a year, two years before you move in together of like dating or seeing each other. I mean, and then you move in, and it's a complete. That's first, a disaster. The first night she came around and we had sex and she never left. Aww. She moved in that She's day. She's like, right, that's it. It's good. I'm sorry. Um, it was really the other way around. I was like, you don't have to rush back home. You're welcome <laughs> to stay here. Stay it's, here. Just years. chill out here. This is closer to work. It's easy. To me, it was just logical. It's like, yeah. you're here. We, I lived in town at the time. So but here, was closer it practical for you? It was practical for everybody. Her town, her home was out in, a bit further away. Yeah. So we were in town centre. Her home was in Beerston. And obviously you wanted her around. but I wanted her okay. around. I wanted her yeah. around. It was fun. And then a couple of weeks went by and she'd been there for every day for two weeks. And then I was like, Might you, could, you, you could say some, keep yourself in after a couple of months. It's like, well, you're pretty much living there now. Yeah. I mean, that's, and it, it didn't really bother me because. That's cool though. But if it, my if life it has never really, like my life has always been capable to accommodate. I don't have any situation where I can't. As long, you know, if it's working for her and she's happy and all the rest of it and she's not just trapped herself in this thing because it feels nice, you know? She doesn't seem to want to go No, away. she's been here five years, so it's actually been yeah. a lot more than just that. You know, I, I've, I'm i saying that because, like, I've kind of made a mistake in the past of, like, pr- practically moving in really quickly with someone and then, you know, running around and doing all I can to make accommodate their life more than I was my own. and that. It's not good. That's not healthy. That's that's no. a, a habit that I have for a part. few relationships, and it's just like not good for anyone. It ends up being a bit toxic and a bit gross. I think the only reason it be- do you feel bad is that why you're saying it becomes toxic? Like you become resentful of them no, if you're I running think, around I think doing it's the everything. Other way around, I think I think they become resentful of me, or I. It's a bit of both. Um, you know, I, I they they never necessarily asked me to do the running around. It was me, like, oh, I like this so much, I want to stay. Like, it, me, by me staying here, I I'll give them this and I'll do that, that, that all. Did it feel like an exchange? It, it didn't. No, I I I kind of felt like I was maybe that was I, that's what I had to do in order to be to loved or to be wanted. It was to do X, Y, Z and be something that I, I wasn't or like accom- over accommodate so you didn't feel like they help, loved you for you people. um I guess I thought they might have done and they, I hope that they did I'm talking like on mul- like multiple relationships here, not just one either did it's you not like, ever have did you not ever realize I that definitely had shit self-worth exactly I was gonna say yeah. did you not ever realize that you were probably I was enough definitely more than they would have ever had with anyone else Maybe, but I didn't realize, and I didn't have much self worth, so I'd like over accommodate, over like control sometimes, over like you know, just do too many things. Comment how much you think Kirsty's worth. (laughs) Three pence in dollars. Threepence. In dollars. Give us your best guess in dollars. How much would you pay? Oh no, I was going to say your net worth. Give you a lift to work every day. (laughs) I was going to say your net worth. Yeah. That'd be the actual answer we could put there. What's Kirsty's net worth? Uh, that's a habit that actually still I, I, I still do actually. I said about giving like lifts to work. I used to I used to give like my boyfriend when I was maybe twenty one. I used to take him to college like How old you know? every day, thirty three. Every day, there and back. Make sure you had dinner. Like do all of these things and that was a bit of a condition thing, um, that I thought meant I was worth something. And I still catch myself out now. Sometimes like I do help my partner out with like lifts to work if his bike's like broken down um but I, I have to stop myself from doing it more than he actually genuinely needs it like why 
because he's perfectly capable and he's cool. I'm cool. I don't need to do it. So I just like I'll do what I can, the loving stuff that I like enjoy doing. But I try not to go out of my comfort zone or out of my way to do anything unnecessarily. Or so what about doing things for other people takes you out of your comfort zone? Um, doing something that doesn't make me happy or I don't feel like is... But are you suggesting that regularly giving someone a lift somewhere make, doesn't make you happy? No. Does it make you unhappy? So it, it does if I feel like I'm doing it and being taken advantage of or being taken for granted and that it's not being appreciated and that it's not actually necessary for me to do that if when you... I could be doing something important oh, that sure. I need to be getting on with. For sure. I was just saying, because I, I... Whereas I used to just prioritise them first and make sure they were okay before doing So I, I tend to live in a slightly different zone where I will yeah. do a lot of things mm-hmm. for other people. But, I, tr- oh, yeah. but I, I manage to do it in conjunction with yeah. the things I need to do that's for me. That's a healthier me. way to do it, yeah. And that's something I've learned. It's like dinner. I will off default to cook dinner. Yeah. Because well, basically, I eat more specifically than she does. Yeah, you can have a little bit more, more control over what you're what you're having and how you like it, or just. Well, eat. The, yeah, I mean, I'll eat. Control's probably not. Say if, if I eat two kilos of food for dinner, yeah, she'll eat two hundred grams of food for dinner. Yeah. So I'll make dinner for me. Yeah, and then give and her a side. Give yeah. her a bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cooking's not. My cooking's not bad by any means. She's very good. Very good. Bake bakes cakes and cookies and fudges and all that sort of stuff. Does oh. a lot of Christmas things for her friends. It's very good at baking. And if she's got the motivation like I have in the mornings to cook dinner, like <laughs> yeah, like the other day I made like some version of a shepherd's pie at like ten in the morning. So I just wake up. I cook breakfast. I've got my cooking down. Like I can make most of the meals I need to eat. Or we need to eat quite quickly. Some we have fajitas like two or three times a week. I don't want ages. I mean, it's so healthy. It's such a banging like little. I mean, you, snack you make your own guacamole, yeah. it's healthy. You make your own salsa, she doesn't eat salsa, but you make your own, that's also healthy. Um, sour cream is fairly good for you, as it turns out. Fat's good for you. And then it's just like grilled chicken and some onions. Like onions are pro- prebiotics, they're good for you. A few peppers, vitamins, yeah, minerals. Yeah, so you got your peppers and your whole foods. And, and then the wraps, there. if you're careful about your carb intake, wraps are good as well. You and make, you can get you whole... You can make your own wraps. So you you can do, but the corn... I was watching this documentary on Netflix about how to live to 100 or living to 100 years. I so watched the, that. The, the Blue Zone. Blue yeah, that the Blue Zone. so good. And one, so of the, good. one of the cultures have corn wraps, which yeah. are really good for you. Do you see the, 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 the guy that... 100-year-old cowboy... Yes, I did. He looks like seventy. Bad man, he was so cool. Like seventy years old. Yeah, that's yeah, and they're all about community. Basically, Mm -hmm. it was a thing: having a purpose, having a community, purpose, getting up and moving all the time. Moving, just hence the standy desk. Making things that little bit more difficult or less comfortable. Just, just making yourself like get up and do the thing. Make that rather than order it. Doctor Peter Atia, he's all about the body has to be put under stress stress your body to make it live longer and healthier yeah i mean like realistically like we would just be busy before we've made like the world like comfortable and easy and everything like simple just press a button or which brings me back to not liking phone calls yeah and ask for the lights to be turned on rather than getting up and switching it you know and the all these little movements contribute to i mean longevity. like you need to you need to be moving Generally being poor, I, I try not to turn anything on electrically if I can help it. So I'm, I'm generally oh, yeah, yeah, in the dark, in the dark, and in <laughs> the got dark. Candles, you got loads of them. Yeah, yeah. I'm in the in the dark and in the cold, pretty much all the time. Yeah. I mean, I think my shower water Born was about cave. my shower water was about five degrees this morning. It's all right. I didn't have a shower this morning. My morning yesterday. Bath. Yeah, I mean. Long ass bath. That's my my second wash in mm. a few yep. days. Like See, he's here with Bree, and you said they're ugly. <laughs> no, 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 no. Vaginas, biologically, any vagina, once you open it up and have a look from a distance, oh, is yeah. ugly. No bueno. Some yeah. can be... Gates to heaven. No, no, no. Some can be aesthetically more pleasing at yeah, a starting I position. I forgot that was even a thing. Some can be nice and symmetrical and neat, is the thing. <laughs> neat. A neat arrangement of meat. Neat meat. Some is your meat neat. Yeah, some <laughs> is not meat. 
A bit like I've seen images of some penises not being very pretty. No. But I was with a guy once who's like, his his dick looked like Gonzo's nose from the Muppets. Yeah, <laughs> like a tap. <laughs> How does it work? Do it works. Do it upside down? Oh, it works. Do it... Have to upside down. 69, but no. sort of the wrong way. No, no, no. <laughs> there was ways and means and it worked fine. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> It's, it's, it's quite refreshing when you find a neat because you you know you can work your way through the tick box. You're like, okay, uh, good it cleavage, overused. good cleavage, good yeah. waistline, good hip to leg ratio, no cankles, nice face. Right? You didn't say ass yet. Hip to waist, ass, same sort of stuff. I'm just working with it. So you can tick all that, and then you get the unclosed bit. And you're like, okay, and good cleavage has got good breasts. They hang nicely. Right. And so, you know, it's got no old right. marks out the way. Good tick that box, and then lay them down. And open. Oh no. no Fucking meat curtains hanging everywhere. Oh, this is going all right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and she sounds good when she's moaning it. She doesn't scream too much. That's nice. Oh know. yeah, that must be a thing. I've lived in a house with a guy who would, whoever he would be bringing back. It's just a, you know, it's just a bit far. Yeah, I only had one or two that were like, ah! sorry. just like fake, unnecessary. You mean? Either that, or their bodies are just too sensitive. Hadn't been touched in like a decade. Oh, I see. They were usually the the less attractive ones that I was possibly a bit drunk when I agreed to. I see. Yeah, I was always, like, on the other side of the bar. I was behind the bar from, like, a younger age. So I kind of didn't. And I was in, like, long-term relationships a lot. I had both sides. Never really any long-term relationships back then. I mean, the longest back then was, like, six months or something like that. They usually lost their interest after four months. I mean, I lost my interest after four months. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> That's the thing, though. Is like women can get drunk and go and have sex with someone, and then everyone's like, oh, no, you took advantage of him. Men get drunk, and then some women take advantage of him. Yeah, that definitely like, oh, happens. He got lucky. Yeah, that... he, he got lucky. Like all those school teachers that are sleeping with the young boys, and everyone's like, go on, oh, mate, yeah, sleep with the teacher. Yeah, whereas the other way around, like, it, dirty old teacher. Sack and, like, See, this is a way that and... the sexes is not fair. Women get things easier. There was a girl in my school who slept with a teacher. The teacher got sacked, but she was just branded and total slag. Like she was probably bullied to fuck. He was her only boyfriend ever. No, obviously oh, she had like. I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't know either, but like so was she was just called a branded a slag off the back of just for sleeping with a teacher. Sleeping with a teacher. But maybe she really fancied him. I think generally that the, 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 there was something there, but. The only experience I had of it in my school was the art teacher's daughter, who was known as being one of the attractive girls at the school. Right. The day after she finished sixth form, suddenly started dating the PE teacher. Mm, convenient. 